Remember like third grade? When Guardian Leviosa is what everyone used to do. When when Guardian it's all they ever said. When shut up. John's the biggest Harry Potter fan I know, everyone. Biggest Harry Potter fan I know. Now's the time to be the biggest Harry Potter fan. He's all about JK Rowling. Shut up about her. Yeah, man. Everything she says is gospel to me. But he's read every book. He's seen every movie five times, right. including The Crimes of Grindelwald. I've seen that one the most because it was my favorite. We got a trailer here for The Secrets of Dumbledore. The first thing we'll talk about is Grindelwald right when the trailer is done. No beating around the bush here. If you listen carefully enough, the past whispers to you. We're here to see Albus Dumbledore. That would be my brother. <laughs> the world is we know is coming undone. Grindelwald is pulling it apart with hate. <laughs> if we're to defeat him, you'll have to trust me. This is the team that's going to take down the most dangerous wizard in over a century. Yes, 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 yes. Magizoologist, his indispensable assistant. <laughs> wizard descended from a very old family, a school teacher. Okay. And a muggle. Dumbledore asked that I give you something. No what? way. Who wouldn't like our chances? <laughs> what? Is he going to get a walk? <laughs> well, how, how's that going to work? <laughs> To save the world, Owen. Things are not quite what they appear. Swivel <laughs> a bit delicately. I'm swiveling like you're swiveling. <laughs> Don't forget the B side. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, with the muckle! Begins! Begins! <laughs> cool. What is this place? The room we require. Ah, uh, haha. It's like Ooh. a room of requirements. One might call it that. Correct. Three points to Hufflepuff. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you would be a And 45 to Gryffindor. That's right, just because. <laughs> mm -mm. Very dangerous. We've gotten the wrong hands. Mess you up. Why did you guess it? Look out for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> good old Kowalski. It looks good. It looks fun and charming. Brought me more goodwill than my uh, recollection of the crimes of Grindelwald left with me. So that's a good thing. I mean, yeah, the crimes of Grindelwald had a had good trailers too. Ultimately, did not like that film. It was the first Harry Potter movie I actively did not enjoy. <laughs> I thought the finale was good. I've seen it twice. It's okay. Uh, and I thought, the, <laughs> I thought the finale was good, and I think Johnny Depp was one of the best parts of that movie. Yeah, I mean, if you guys were around when the casting and the firing occurred, you know where we stand. It's pretty messed up. WB done, done, Johnny Depp, some dirty. Mads Mikkelsen. It's a weird feeling because when I see him here, he looks awesome. I didn't like Crimes of Grindelwald. I thought Johnny Depp was one of the better parts of that movie. At the same time, I'd be a total liar to you guys if I was to sit here and go, I'm not excited for Mads Mikkelsen because I think Mads Mikkelsen is an amazing actor. I've seen a decent amount of his movies. I've seen all of Hannibal and I'm like, yeah, he's from the brief knowledge I have of Grindelwald, I think he's perfectly cast for the role. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely in his wheelhouse. <laughs> and and the, the idea of him and Jude Law bouncing off each other just sounds awesome to me. And it very much is in the Mads Mikkelsen wheelhouse. In fact, in some ways, it kind of looks like an older Johnny Depp it's in like yeah. in this trailer. Yeah. Like they, it's not as made up. It's a very different look. A big part of what probably makes it even more interesting to me is the fact that it is the controversy surrounding it. The recasting of Johnny Depp puts you more of a critical eye on it of, let's see if he's better <laughs> <laughs> or if he's just as good. For a lot of people, maybe not for everyone, but for a lot of people, I think that that's gonna definitely be present when watching this movie. A little bit of comparison or a little bit more extra critical attention. I'm very interested to see what he does with the 
role. Absolutely. I mean, Mads Mikkelsen, terrific actor. He can definitely play a role like this. It's not like the most like, oh man, he's going to stretch his legs and show me something I've never seen before. I just feel like he's going to pretty much nail the part. And I feel like it helps them that Colin Farrell was originally, you know, spoilers if you haven't seen the first movie, but you know, Grindelwald shape shifts out of being Colin Farrell. So I feel like even though there's yeah. probably some explanation or something, audiences might need to be fully on board with this. It's already kind of motivated by that, so it could be a lot weirder to have a different face on the same character than it is here now. Jude Law is like wonderful casting for Dumbledore. Like it does as much as I am sort of cynical of like, I'm wary about going off road and being like, sure. we gotta keep this thing going. Let's dig into Dumbledore's past. Like these things are hinted at in the book. And I think, yeah, Jude Law is a great pick to, you know, mm -hmm. jump back into young Dumbledore's life. Now I'm just curious as to how they're going to continue making Newt and his crew feel essential. Uh, some of my biggest issues with Crimes of Grindelwald had to do with the maintenance of those characters and the sort of willy-nilly changing of their motivations and things like that. So That's what I really hope to see because part of my favorite aspects of the first Fantastic Beast movie were Newt and Jake and Queenie and, uh, you know, Catherine Waterston, <laughs> uh, all them together. Uh, the new players look fun too, and it's always nice to get back into the world of Harry Potter. Like, as a cinematic world, I could just, you know, leave it on in the background and want to feel like I'm hanging out there the whole time. So it's always a treat to get to go back. It's a decent first trailer. It's not selling me on like, oh man, this is gonna be the next big Voldemort adventure I've been waiting for. It certainly is leaving me with a sense of goodwill based off of my skepticism from the last movie, so. I'm, I'm pleased at the moment. <laughs> yeah, it looks fine. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, looks fine. <laughs> I mean, I'm excited to see the stories of Dumbledore with him actually being involved in the action and going out on the streets. This sort of like, this very like mission, we're almost on the brink of war type of scenario. Explore and, their romance, you cowards. And Jacob Kowalski getting a wand. Yeah. Uh, seems very, very weird. Did they establish anything at all of him having magical abilities? Nope, that's so that, what yeah, seems weird to me. Like, I don't know how, that's, what is he gonna do with, with him it? is that he's human. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> what is he gonna do with it? I mean, I don't you know, know. But he's often a scene stealer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah. is true. I mean, squibs have hard enough time using wands. How is a muggle going to do it with any sort of uh, accuracy? The beast part sometimes feels like an afterthought. It does. It absolutely The, the first does. one, it wasn't. Last one, and then even in this trailer. Well, no, the first movie, they're like, hey, it's about, you know, this guy and he's collecting these beasts. And yeah, like, there's trouble brewing in the background. And then the second movie is like, oh, we need another Voldemort. And we need to make it about that kind of thing, mm -hmm. about everyone fighting the biggest, baddest guy around. I mean, not that I guess you could build an entire just like Harry Potter franchise out of a little pamphlet like Fantastic Beasts <laughs> and where to find them. But at the same time, it would be nice if it felt like those were a little more essential to oh, the very movie. Very true, very true. Well, guys, are you excited for The Secrets of Dumbledore? We're gonna watch it either way one of those things, you know, we're just going to have our ticket regardless. <laughs> sure. Yeah. We'll I'm, be there. I'm here for Harry Potter. Put it on HBO Max. Same day. Subscribe. Click that bell. Hit that like button. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you soon.